I'd like to talk for a minute about a guy named Aaron Schwartz, a young man who took his life because our government was so paranoid about us using the web to communicate that they threatened him with 35 years in jail for publishing free academic journals. They were free. They were available to anybody who went to college at MIT. He threatened, or rather he collected for the purpose of publishing all these academic journals, and he ended up being threatened and losing all his money and eventually his life to the threat of the paranoid federal government. What I want to talk about particularly is net neutrality. This is an issue that Aaron Schwartz cared about. We have to know that our news is not being uh, filtered by the corporations and the federal government. And the only way that we know that is not because of ridiculous Channel 6 and ridiculous Channel 10 and ridiculous Channel 12 who are foolish and are, are joining with whatever government comes along. We go to the net. How do we know that the net is real? We don't. We get to compare all different types of news. If net neutrality is dead, real news is dead, all reporting is reporting from the government. Net neutrality or death? What we're really faced with here is that if the government listens to everything we say, then it changes the way we talk to each other. If someone is listening to every word, you won't give your real opinion. You'll give an opinion that you think will be acceptable to the people listening. So what they're doing is they're shutting us up. We can't shut up. We have to raise our voices. We have to raise our voices against being spied on. We have to raise our voices against being incarcerated for ridiculous crimes that are not against anything except that we are making our opinions known that don't go along with the government. We need to legalize marijuana. We need to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. We need to raise the cap on Social Security contributions yes. so that the Social Security crisis will not exist, which it doesn't exist anyhow. And we need to hold our representatives in Washington to a higher standard. They have to tell us when they start to torture people. It's in the Constitution that we don't torture people. But Bush decided we would. And so who forgot to tell us? Jack Reed. Who forgot to tell us? Everybody in Washington. We were supposed to be told when they could arrest people without cause, without giving us a lawyer. It's called... Violation. I mean, beyond the, beyond the violations of the Fourth Amendment, this idea of indefinite detention, I mean, is that a law? Did somebody make up a law? No. No, a bureaucrat said indefinite detention. They can now arrest you, hold you, never tell anybody where you are, never give you a lawyer, and you're never seen again. That is fascism. That is not democracy. That is not the United States of America. We need to stand up for our rights. Fight for 15, socialist alternative. It's the only way we get our way. We all need to be able to make a living wage. We all need our freedom. Fight! All right. Yeah.